uh, and he doesn't he doesn't probably take care of them. Uh, my daughter had the same clothes on for three days and she was filthy and he sent her to school like that. I asked him to give me a seven day notice of when he is off. Mom is concerned about dad's alleged marijuana usage, which is also illegal in the state of Texas. Of course, going to find that on January the 23rd, 2023, the state of Texas sent notice of this hearing to Mr. Scott. That notice was sent to the same address for which he was served. It contained all of the information that he would have needed to have participated. He's not here. Now you may default to okay. this case, Ms. Leonard. Okay. What, what were the children's names on this case? Or uh, Hadley Scott and Caden Scott. When was uh, Hadley born? 3-22 of 2018. And Caden? 7-2 of 2014. And who is the father of the children? James Allen Scott Jr. Okay. Um, at this time, Your Honor, I want to um, submit into evidence the acknowledgement of paternity. Thanks to the is admitted into evidence. All right. And who do the children live with? Me. How long have they lived with you? All their life. Who makes the important decisions for them? Myself. And who makes the day-to-day -day decisions for them? Myself. Do you have any concerns um, with the children staying with the other party, Mr. Scott? Yes. What are those concerns? The marijuana usage and... Um, the like, uh, and he doesn't. He doesn't probably take care of them. What incident has occurred that made you feel like he doesn't properly take care of them? Um, most recent was just um, when they came back from his house from this weekend. Um, my daughter had the same clothes on for three days, and she was filthy. And he sent her to school like that. Uh, do you have any safety concerns with your personal information being in this order? No, ma'am. What's the current visitation arrangement? Um, I ask him to give me a seven-day notice of when he is off, and he gets them. Usually, it's during the week, twice a week, but um, this past weekend, he was off. But sometimes, he doesn't give me seven-day notice, so he doesn't get them. And when's the last time that he's got the children? Over this weekend. Um, does he get them like for the whole weekend? He was off Saturday and Sunday, so he picked them up Saturday morning and he brought them to school Monday morning and they came back to my house Monday afternoon. Okay. Um, do you know if Mr. Scott has any other children under the age of 18? No, he doesn't. How are the children covered with health insurance? My husband. What's the cost of that insurance just for the children? It's 100 a month. Is that just for... Um, health insurance? It's for health, vision, and dental. And are you wanting to um, continue to carry it through your husband? Yes. Um, are you requesting um, retroactive support in this case? Yes. When did you and Mr. Scott separate? January of 2022. Has he given you any money since you both separated? No. I pass his witness, Your Honor. Your witness, Mr. Gunn. Thank you, Your Honor. Now, Ashley, uh, just for the record, your last name is now Herman, correct? Yes. You have married, correct? Yes. All right. So we need to make that correction on the record, Your Honor. Their last name is now Herman. Uh, now, in terms of visitation, you and I have discussed this. What is your proposal about visitation with the issues you've been having with him, the marijuana use and the improper uh things he's been doing with the children about clothing and not keeping them clean. My, my understanding is you are suggesting a seven day notice to him before he can get the children, correct? Yes. You would prefer no overnights during the week, correct? Yes. You would prefer that he does get a visit on a weekday during the week, perhaps a Wednesday or Thursday evening from 4 to 6 p.m., correct? Yes. You're also requesting that with seven days notice, he would get the second and fourth Friday of each month from 6 p.m. on Friday until 6 p.m. on Sunday. Would that be correct? Yes. Uh, you're really not requesting any other specific visitation for him at this time, are you? No. 
All right. Now, as we discussed with the two children, and I'm assuming that the state has employment information about him, uh, as I showed you, the family code provides that his support would be 25% of his net income. You understand that? Yes. And you're asking this to be retroactive to January 2022, correct? Yes. You're further requesting that he be ordered to reimburse you for the cost of the medical, dental, and vision insurance for the kids at the rate of $100 per month. Is that correct? Yes. All right. And additionally, although it may not be in the pleadings, we would ask for a trial amendment. You're asking for a permanent injunction Mr. against Gunn, him to Mr. prohibit Gunn. him. I'm Mr. sorry. Gunn, you, yes. you, can't have, you can't have that. He has to be served with it to default him with it. So you can't have a trial amendment on a default. I'll move on, Your Honor. Yes. Uh, is that all the requests you have? Yes. Oh, we have, Your Honor. Your witness, Ms. Leonard. I have no further questions for this witness, Your Honor. Call your next witness, Ms. Leonard. Uh, Ms. Swallow. Um, Ms. Swallow, uh, where do you work? For the Office of Attorney General, Child Support Division. Hey, and in your role, um, are you able to obtain income information? Yes, I am. Um, what information were you able to obtain for Mr. Scott? I was able to find that uh, for a year's average of income, his gross monthly income is three thousand two hundred and fifty eight dollars. Um, were there any other um, orders for any other children found? No, there were not. Uh, I pass this witness, Sharon. Your witness, Mr. Gunn. Ms. Walla, have there been any calculations by the Attorney General's office to ascertain what his net monthly income would be? Yes, sir. That would depend on uh, the insurance information. Well, he doesn't have insurance. He will be ordered to reimburse my client for insurance coverage. So there are no deductions for insurance. It's just a straight deductions for whatever the withholding is, Social Security, Medicare, income tax withholding. Have y'all calculated that yet? Yes, sir. It would show the net resources are $2,674. $2,674. And as we discussed earlier, there's, he only has these two children. So the family code provides a 25% for child support. So we would just take the net of $2,674, multiply that by 25% to get the monthly amount, correct? Yes, I'm trying to think. Well, we take the net. I mean, the gross, I'm sorry, and take out that, yes, sir, and then do the 25. Yes, sir, you're correct. Oh, correct. Oh, oh okay. Um, and again, we're asking for a retroactivity back to January of 2022. That's that's all I have, Ms. Well. Thank you, ma'am. Yes, sir. Your witness, Ms. Leonard? I have no more questions for this witness, Your Honor. Let me call your next witness, Ms. Leonard. I have no more witnesses. The state rest? Yes, sir. Mr. Gunn, do you have any witnesses that you wish to call? Uh, no, Your Honor. I have none further. Thank you. Okay. So I mean, basically, the only real issue that I've got here is what kind of possession I'm going to give to Mr. Scott. Um, Ms. Herman, you said that uh, what y'all had been doing in the past was he would send you notice a week ahead of time sometimes, and you'd give him the children for two two days at a time, right? Um, if he was off one day, he got them for one day. If he was off right. for two days in a row, he got them for two days in a row. Okay. Well, obviously, I can't give him that kind of possession because I have no idea what his work schedule is, right? Sure. All right. So, assuming that you and he would be able to continue to work like that in the future, do you think that's something that y'all could do as long as you stayed in contact with each other? I do, but contact with him is... Well, I mean, if he doesn't give you the seven days notice that you've been looking for in the past, he's not going to be able to get them, right? Yes, sir. Okay. I mean, I... I really can't create or tailor a visitation schedule that specific in these situations, Ms. Harmon. So if you guys can continue to do that in the future, great. If not, then he'll just have to fall back on what I give him. Yes, sir. So you said that your husband is currently carrying the health insurance on the children through his employer, right? Yes, sir. How long have you had that health insurance in place? Since July of 22. Okay. So not right after y'all separated. No, sir. When did you and your husband get married? Uh, July 19th, 2022. Okay. Anything further from the state? No, Your Honor. Mr. Gunn, do you have anything further on this case before I make a ruling? Uh, no, Your Honor, do not. I don't like the marijuana around the kids, so that's going to be a prohibition. 
Good. Um, obviously, that's going to be for both parents. It's still illegal in the state of Texas, so um, that probation would be against both parents. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't, you know, I'd hope that I wouldn't have to put that in a court order since it's still not legal here. So, but we'll put that in the court order. The court's going to find the court has jurisdiction. The court's going to find based on the testimony of Miss Herman and the testimony of Miss Swallow. It is certainly in the children's best interest to name the parties as joint managed conservators with Miss Herman as the primary custodian. Uh, there'll be no non-disclosure in this case since that was not requested. Um, I will find that, uh, Mr. Scott's going to have standard possession. I mean, I, that's the only one that I can give him that's at least has some kind of a fallback position. However, specifically within the first, uh, with on the first page of the document regarding possession in the possession provision on the first, first or second page of the order, Miss Leonard, I wanted in there that neither party shall use uh, marijuana while in possession of the children. Miss um, uh, Herman shall be ordered to maintain the health insurance that she has on the children as per um, what she's doing now through her husband's current um, employer. Uh, based on the testimony of Ms. Swalla, I'm gonna find that Mr. Scott's child support is gonna be $670 per month, uh, plus an additional $80 per month for the medical insurance, plus an additional $10 per month for the dental insurance. He's not required by law to carry vision insurance on the children, so I can't get her reimbursed for that. Um, those payments will begin March the 1st of 2023. Retroactive child support in this grant in case will be granted in full. $8,710 will be the retroactive child support amount. That'll be paid back at a rate of $80 per month uh, beginning March the 1st of 2023. Um, Ms. Herman testified that she's had the children under health insurance for the last several months. He's going to be ordered to pay retroactive medical support as well. Um, retroactive medical, medical insurance premiums will be $720 per month plus an additional amount of $90 per month for the dental insurance. Um, the medical insurance will be paid back at a rate of, oh, let's say $20 per month, and the dental will be paid back at a rate of $10 a month. All those payments will be repaid at, a, at the beginning of March the 1st of 2023. Court cost by July 31st of 2023. So that's a 670 in child support, 80 in medical, uh, 10 in dental, $8,710 in retroactive child support, um, $720 in retroactive medical support, and $90 in retroactive dental support. Um, the retroactive will be paid back at a rate of $80 a month. The retroactive medical will be $20 a month, and the retroactive dental will be $10 per month. Um, all payments beginning March 1st of 2023. Uh, does that take care of all the issues in this case as far as your pleadings are concerned, Ms. Leonard? Yes, I have everything. All right. Mr. Gunn, do you wish to review and sign the order prior to my signature, sir? I'd appreciate the honor. Yes, sir. Thank you. Okay. Good it's good to see, Mr. Gunn, that some good attorneys you, like to review court orders before they get them to me. Yes, I understand. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it's a, it. Take it's, care. A new, it's a new trend I'm not I'm not fond of, Mr. Gunn. So I understand. Um is there any reason that you believe, Mr. Gunn, that we need a further hearing on this case to enter the order? Do you think you and Ms. Leonard will work out the terms, make sure they match what I said? We can resolve any issues, Your Honor. Yes, sir. Obviously, Ms. Leonard or Mr. Gunn, um, if if y'all can't resolve the issue, just set it back on my next docket and we'll get it worked out. Good. Very good, Judge. Thank you. All right. Y'all are all free to go. Thank y'all for okay. being here.